Hey folks, it's Rithgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to Minecraft. Diorite, right, you know what? Gravel could go in a, a different, we'll put gravel in his chest, we'll put that down over there, because we're going to start wanting to sort of save that up a bit, possibly, maybe. Uh, right, now it's night time. In theory, because I haven't been sleeping, when it gets to night time, the phantoms should turn up and they should attack and encourage us to go and get some sleep. But they haven't turned up yet and they only turn up when you're outside. Where have you spawned? Are you spawning up there and falling down? Or are you spawning somewhere else? I don't want that creeper there. Actually, he's got to have spawned in here. Right, he's got to have spawned in here somewhere. He encourage him to back away a little bit over there. Like that. Uh, back away a little bit more. There we go. Right, we took him down rather beautifully. I reckon he must have spawned up on here. He wouldn't have walked that far. So we'll stick another couple of torches up here. Maybe it was around one of these corners, something like that. You, you never can tell. Oh, that was just me falling off of there. Um, I'm thinking it's unlikely that he spawned up on top of the mountain and fell off, because surely that drop would have killed him. So I think he must have spawned in here somewhere. Maybe that patch right there. Like, the, the light can be a little bit kind of finicky. It, it It's difficult sometimes to get the, the light levels exactly right for making sure that nothing unpleasant goes and spawns. Now, I've got skeletons over there. Skeletons are very, very good at avoiding the sunlight. They will go and hide under the trees. Now, I'm going to try and avoid this dude till he burns to death. See that one over there? He's in the shade. Ow. Ah, no, he's not in the shade now. But usually skeletons are the ones that are pretty good at avoiding this. But these days now, like the, the way that it works, their flame does actually get you. There we go. We're going to pick that up there. We've got bones. We've got more thingies. I can't pick these arrows up. These, they're lost for good. So, what I wanted to do out here was I wanted to remove this line of stone that is all the way through here. Like this. And then I want to replace it with soil. We want dirt all the way through. Uh, I don't need to replace anything right on that edge. At least I don't think I do. Um, so, I want to dig up every single piece of stone that is on the surface here. And I want to replace that with earth. We'll just put down the dirt blocks. And then we've got a nice even surface all the way over. We can worry about putting footpaths and things like that in at a later date. Right now, I'm not too concerned about whether we've got any footpaths in here at all or not. Another thing that I do want is to make some fences around here and then try to make this area mob proof. Don't want mobs being able to get in, which means then we're not going to have uninvited guests in the night who are going to come in and then try to shoot us full of arrows or any other such nonsense like that, which is altogether an unpleasant experience. And we don't want it. And we definitely don't want any creepers spawning in here. That is the worst possible thing that could happen. So we've got... Yes, yeah, here's a skeleton down underneath that tree. And he's going to hide under there until nightfall just going to be there and cause trouble so we we got to be able to make the top of the mountain safe and the only like the best way to do that is like square it off and cover it with torches i mean we can go up there and cover it all with torches anyway and we we did start to do that a little bit but really what you can do is you, you build this out and you build a tunnel entrance out so nothing can spawn on top and then we put a fence down we put a fence back from the cliff edge. So rather than putting it up against that wall there, I mean, we can put it against there and then go over a bit higher. They shouldn't be able to jump over it. We'll see. Right. Don't worry if you don't know what I'm talking about. I do know what I'm talking about. So we've... There is hope yet. Let's just fill this in a bit. 
like this so that we've got the work in here done how I wanted it to be done. And something else that I do like to do once I really get going is to have my torches placed down nice and evenly all the way through the base. On fences and stuff all the way around the edge, I put them in like every other fence. Every, all the way through on all of the fences just goes on every other one. All the way round. And uh, I put you onto there like that. I've got a piece of cobbly stone. Uh, let's go and put a torch out here on the edge like that just for a second i want to get some more earth but uh, i'm kind of wondering where i should get this from like i, I do want to dig off a piece around here and dig out a little piece around over on this side and eventually i kind of like want to make a bridge over there i think maybe something like that we're going to want animal pens here as well so we're going to aim for digging up some of those uh and the other thing that I want to do is find a village. Now, we've been up on the cliff and we've had a look away into the distance. And at the moment, there is no sign anywhere of a village. And I have spawned the world on a normal version. I'm quite happy to admit this. And I've gone and flown around for many miles. Well, not in every direction, but I've flown around in several directions. And I've yet to find a village. Um, oh, I didn't want to do that. Right, I, I, I've yet to find a village. And this is a little bit concerning for me. Because I would really very much like to have a village. And to be able to use a village. Now, we've got a whole area in here where we're going to have things spawn. Unless we light this all up like a Christmas tree in here. So, we kind of need to get some torches. Right the way around the edges on this. Put one up there somewhere. And in here. Like this. And you, you've got to be quite particular about getting torches over as much as possible. In order to keep that light level up. Alright. And I'm sure there are actually mods out there that will highlight what you can where you can actually well where you need to increase your light sources in order to make sure that nothing nasty is going to spawn i'm absolutely positive there will be mods like that around but right now i'm not going to worry about getting something like that i'm just going to try to make sure that i've got enough torches placed down everywhere in order to you know prevent too much stuff from spawning so i got loads of torches all the way out along here we can never have too many torches. Uh, honestly, you really can't. Um, okay, maybe that is too many right there. And we'll go into here. So I've, I've run out. Let's go and put another stack in there like that. We've got a deep pit down here. So let's just keep that one open like that. And then I come down into this piece. Right. It's starting to look better, I think. Starting to look a little better. We've got plenty of light coming down through. I've, I've no doubt that I am going to have trouble in this bit here with things spawning. But for now, looking at the amount of torches I've got in through here, possibly... Am I really losing health just from falling down? I didn't think I was. Nothing was attacking me, was it? Maybe I jumped down more than one. Maybe I jumped down just like a little bit too far. I don't know. Something happened that wasn't good. I felt it hit me. Drop one down there. And now we can go back over towards our actual base bit in here. So obviously, like, we got all this valley. We want to light that up as well. Placing torches is a tedious task. Sometimes. But if we can... I mean, if we can get enough torches down... And keep them going down like this. We're, we're drastically reducing anything being able to spawn anywhere on the base. So, yes, down through that valley down there, there's going to be some stuff spawning, which isn't great. Where's that chicken? There it is. Have you got an egg around here for me? I'd like some more eggs. I'm going to leave the chicken. Uh, doesn't look like there's too much. 
I think we're all right at the moment. Now, I have had a few people saying they don't like the field of view that we've got on here because there's you, you can alter the field of view, but this is like the, the, the default kind of, like saying that the field of view is too narrow. Is this the case for a lot of you? Like, is because for me, this is like the, the normal field of view. That's zoomed right in. You've got normal, which is 70 there. Quake Pro, like this. It seems so weird. Like, I, I don't like that very much. What does that go up to? That's 110 there, and 70 is considered a normal field of view. So if I was to go to 90, what's that like? I could probably live with that. Is that better? Does that make it better for people watching? Let me know. Does that improve your experience with watching this video? Does that make it better by just me tweaking that field of view ever so slightly like that? If it does, ideal. If it doesn't, then I'll put it back to normal Minecraft. But I, this, this is not so bad that it's going to mess me up. I can probably cope with this one. I mean, I, I, I maybe over time it'll. Um, I, I, I don't know. At the moment, it, it seems like this would be okay for me. Whether or not it's okay for anybody else watching, I don't know. But I have had comments about the field of view being a little bit um, too narrow. So um, when it comes to watching the gameplay, it's a bit unpleasant to watch. It's, it's too tight on the screen. Let me just get that one and that one down there. And I'm going to take this tree over here as well. Up through like that. Now, I've got a choice. I could go and mine out one of the great big standing jungle trees over there. Or I could get a load more oak trees. And then we've got to decide whether we use oak for doing our fences all the way around. Or we use something like the jungle trees. I'm thinking oak. That's, that's kind of my personal preference. I'm also wanting to dig out a little bit more here. I'm actually thinking of digging out a double line here. Follow this all the way along like this. And that is going to involve digging out a bit more on this side piece right here. But that's not going to take very long to do. There. And we'll dig, dig that back as steps up through here like this and it's going to give us a decent big area i'm going to dig that out down the other side as well i'm also going to have to dig out the yeah i, I do want to dig out there don't i right so we need to dig out a double line like this all the way through on that so that it drops it down a bit and then i'm going to go through and do the same up here like that And then next line as well. Right. That's it. I don't need to go any further than that. And whilst I do like this to be, I would like that to be dirt on the edges on there. I'm not going to worry about it at the moment. I'm going to, right, we need to have the pickaxe. Because if you right click with an axe onto a tree, it turns it into um, a, a, a debarked log, which I don't want. Uh, I am going to dig a line through here as much as I can. Like this. Dig right the way through. All the way out to the other side on this one. And then I'm hoping... There we go. Right, come all the way out over to here. And then I can... I'll dig off all of this bit in here. And we've got a new area then, like, we've extended out the garden area, so I'll be able to make this a little bit bigger. That's the general idea in this. I want to make this bit a little bit bigger than it is right now. Let me put down some torches. I don't actually need to put torches down there, because we're going to end up digging this bit up anyway. But uh, we'll do it, just, just in case something does decide to come along and spawn. I'm also deliberately staying outside... For a little tiny bit longer today. Because I'm curious about these whole phantom things. I've not seen them yet. 
And these phantom things turn up if you haven't had enough sleep. It's, it's something that's designed to encourage you to sleep in Minecraft. And I like it. I think it's absolutely brilliant. It encourages you to go to bed. Make sure that you get plenty of rest. You do, you know, we all need our beauty sleep, don't we? And this is something that actually actively encourages you to get said beauty sleep. Now, if I go there and we will pickaxe our way through that bit there. So we're going to want to do a bit of pickaxing over that side and there. And I'm going to take that bit out. Take out any more there for a minute. And back onto the old shovely poo. Go on round this way, and uh, this is the last shovel that I've got at the moment, so we're going to need to go and get another shovel once this one breaks. I'm hoping that I'll be able to dig out everything that I want to dig out before the shovel breaks, though. Loving this texture pack. This texture pack is really, really awesome. Really am absolutely loving the appearance of it. Chicken, I hope you don't plan on going anywhere too far, too fast, because I have got plans for you and your kin. I have got plans. I would like to build a chicken farm. Now, I could build... I, I, something that I do like to build is the old traditional chicken farm that automatically cooks the chicken as well. It's quite a, 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 a wonderful little machine. Um, or you can just have a chicken farm that drops cooked uh, non-cooked chicken just drops raw chicken and then you can go and cook it however you please so those are really nice or you can just go for something that drops eggs and drops tens of thousands of eggs in very vast quantities go and pick off all of this here like that all the way out to there back through this way. I don't know why I'm digging that bit off. I don't technically need to be digging that bit off. Just to, like, smooth it back a bit, I guess. It does, it, it sort of looks alright when it's, it's dug back like that, but I definitely didn't need to be digging that all the way back. And possibly we're going to have issues with something spawning if we're not careful. So let's, yeah. It spawns out over that side, but they're a fair way away from where we are here. So I'm, I'm hoping that those aren't going to be any kind of issue for us. I'm hoping. I spend a lot of time in this game just hoping that things are going to go right. It's very easy for things not to go right. It's very easy for things to go horribly, horribly wrong a dozen times over. I can hear a spider. I can hear a spider somewhere. Maybe if I just push out this way a little bit. There's a creeper over there. No, the sp I can hear the spider up that way. Right. Let's put stuff down here a minute. Go back to that shovel and finish digging out this piece here. I've got this wall right beside me that I want to just smooth back. Now, you can't make dirt slabs, can you? I'd kind of like to be able to make some dirt slabs. I think dirt slabs would help us out. I really do. I, th I think dirt slabs would be an absolute godsend at this point. I mean, we can go and change things around a little bit. And we could do things like make, uh, rather than having dirt slabs, there goes our shovel. And that was the last one. So let me put down a couple of torches around here like this. There. Slightly dull patch in the middle. Um, what I used to do was go around and put the lights down, the torches down in a grid. In a very, very e particular grid. Like it was every fourth torch. Something like that. So we just go there. One, two, three. And then put a torch down. It takes a long time to lay out a... I mean, once you get used to doing it... Um, you can actually do it pretty quickly because you've only got to mark out a little bit and then you can start putting down a full grid just by looking at where the other torches are. So, so long as you get the first bit of the grid and you get the first lines laid out, then you can start to put them down pretty quickly. And you just have this grid that encompasses the entire base. Um, anywhere on the ground, you have your torches following the grid. And I really like it. It makes it all kind of look fairly even all the way through. There's just something comforting about it. 
It was something that I really, yeah, uh, it's difficult to explain, but I, I did like it. So I may end up doing that for this as well. It's not the most exciting thing to watch me put them down. So I won't, again, it'd be the sort of thing that I won't do all at once. I'm, I'm trying to avoid doing lots and lots of building projects all at the same time. Like, or at least doing lots of the same building project all at the same time. If I can avoid doing that a bit, I feel that that would be a, a positive. Let me go running through here. This field of view is not so bad. It does look a little bit strange to me from what I'm used to, but it's it's not so weird that it's it's kind of like spoiling my gameplay experience. But whether it's better for you, I'm, I'm hoping that it is better for you to watch, because that's the whole point of it. That's what we want. We want it to be better for you to watch. Ooh! There was one thing I wanted. There was one little thing that I wanted to do. I'm going to go down here. It's only a minor detail. Very, very minor detail. I've got to be very careful climbing down there. There's nothing has spawned down there. Right. Uh, it, it, was, it was only a tiny thing. I wanted a block of sand. I'm going to take two blocks of sand. I've got lots more melons. I'm going to bypass the melons. I'm going to go over here to the wheat, and I'm going to harvest that. That one there is not ready yet. So I'm going to leave that one. I'm going to go back into seeds. I've got lots of seeds now. I don't have a hoe for pulling up anymore. So we're just going to leave those like that. The melons, I'm going to leave those where they are as well. I'm going to go up here. I've got nine fish left, which is enough to keep me going. From What is that? What even are you? Okay, I have no idea what that thing is. I don't, what was it? Does anybody know what that thing... Those down there, those are zombies called Drowned. I know those. I know what these things are. They're Drowned Zombies. Those I know. But the, the other one, I have no idea what that thing was. That was seriously creepy. I mean, these things don't look much better, I'll be honest with you. Look at them. Uh, they, they sound very weird, these things do. Now, did did he drop something else? I have a feeling he dropped something other than just whatever it was that he was carrying around. I, I, I want to go fishing again. I'm not, I'm not, I'm, no, I'm not going to go fishing. I need, I need to focus. There, there was, there was stuff I was doing. Let's, let's try and focus on that, shall we? I'm going to go up over here and I want to get going with the first guard. I also want to get going with some more digging down the bottom, although I'm not going to do that right now. There, there was another thing that I want to do. Let's close the door just in case. And I want to go into here. I want to drop the sand down there like that. And I want to cook some sand. Uh, let me have a look. I had three rotten flesh. I've got the girl. It doesn't look like there was anything else. Were they carrying... Oh, I picked up the jungle log for something different. Okay, I, I don't know what they were carrying. And then in here, I got 30 iron ingots. Fan schmastic. We will drop in the gold ore as well. Make that. And we will put those 30 in there. We've got a nice supply of iron now. We've got a, a really good supply of iron. I'm going to take that iron out. I'm going to have a look in that chest up there. And I'm going to drop down some of the dirt that I'm carrying. Not all of it, though. Uh, the cobblestone I will dump. And I've got trees down in there. We've got more oak saplings. We've got bones. We've got arrows. And... Right, I'll, I'll, I'll dump the jungle... No, that's not the jungle logs. That's the oak logs. I want the oak logs. We've got a lot of work that we want to do with those. And I want those oak planks. So we've got more work that I want to do with those. Right. Now. Glass. That's what I wanted. I wanted glass. And I can turn this glass into other shades if I want to. But we're going to put our very first window in here. I'm actually going to make this window bigger. I feel that this is something that we're, we're able to advance to. We can have a, a, a nice window, a, a pillared window, right on here. That one's going to go right in there. One, two, two pieces of glass, and there. With the 
texture pack I'm using, you don't get the squares like on every single bit of glass. It kind of joins them together in the middle, which I think looks really good. There, we've now got a window. Look at that. We're able to see outside without the danger of mobs coming in to join us, which is a step in the right direction, I think. That's, that's definitely something that we want. So we'll put a couple of those in there. Uh, we'll put those in there, and we'll make four shovels. And then I will go one. Okay, that's way too many. Actually, I don't want to do that at all for a minute. I want to take those, and I want to make that into planks. And then we'll go sticks in here, and we will put... Uh, yeah, I, I, I just want one, two. There, so I've got a couple spare ones of those. I've got a spare iron sword at the moment. We've got the shovel here. We can swap those over. I'm going to want the dirt down there anyway because I'm going to be wanting to put some of it down. Uh, so the only other thing I'm going to need is a spare iron axe, I think that out and take everything out of there then go back in here we'll drop that in there like that i will go into this chest and i will dump that piece of cobblestone so i've got a bit of space yeah that's looking pretty good we will take a look down here and get that gold go back over this way I've got 12 wheat right there. I've now got 14 wheat. I've got some gold ingots here. I've got a single solitary potato. I've got some baked bread. Bread is pretty good for um, dealing with hunger. It's better than melon slices, but it's not better than the fish or other meat. Meat is generally the best one. I, I don't remember like what all the, fig the facts and figures are on them, so I'm not going to worry about them too much. And I want to go in here. So we've got oak logs. Turn all of those. And I'll convert all of those as well. Now we can go to oak. No. Uh, I need a load of sticks for this, don't I? So to do a fence, you do that, that, and that, don't you? No, that's a gate. That is an oak fence gate. So I want one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I don't want to do too many of them. Don't want to do too many of those. So now to make a fence. Got a feeling the fence is... Yes, that's how you do the fence. Right. Let's drop you down here and do you like that. So then I'll do a full stack, a full stack. A full stack. And I've got 56 of them. So I will do all of them. Every single one that I can. And then I will drop those onto there. And press shift onto it like that. And do the last. And it says all of those now done. I've got several fences. And i got uh, some fence gates as well. It's going to help us out big time. Get rid of the rotten flesh. Get rid of the wheat seeds. What's that? Oh, it's an iron nugget. Right. I've done enough in here. Let's go. Let's go back over to our garden. This over here, like, uh, I've got... Well, unfortunately, folks, that is all we have got time for today. If you have time, do please consider checking out the links in the description down below. There is one for Nitrado, who provide gaming servers, including but not limited to Minecraft and Farming Simulator. And there is also Fanatical, who sell vast quantities of computer games at very reasonable prices. There is also a discount code in the description alongside the link. If you've enjoyed this video, then please head down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. And until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye, and see you later.